made it safe to Memphis, went in Tennessee, which was one of my favorite states, you must stop, get a little coffee, fuel up, and just take in the sights for a moment. And I want to take you guys with me. So let's go. So that's actually where I routed myself to get coffee. But I'm having a real coffee snob moment right now that that's actually not where I want to get coffee if that's how they spell espresso. Oh, but that's okay. Check out how beautiful this little tramway area is. This is absolutely stunning. I love historic areas that have green and life, like where you can tell that there's history here. I just love places like this. Check it out. weather so much and it's so beautiful and there's a park in the center of this urban area and this trolleyway with lots of live music and food trucks hey maybe I'll get some food here this is exciting let's go check it out found the place to eat at. It's got all of the accolades and the longest line, so why not? Let's check it out. Thank you, Rico. Thank you, have a great day. Let's see if this lobster chowder is any good. <laughs> okay, so I parked by City Hall and I definitely thought I was just getting a parking ticket. Even though I was four minutes early to add more time to the meter, I was like, no, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not getting a ticket in Memphis for missing a parking thing. But anyway, the guy was really nice. He's like, I'm not giving you a ticket. I'm like, okay, okay, good. <laughs> this place reminds me so much of Argentina. I love places like this. Check it out. This park is so sweet. What would you guys do right now if I could get this squirrel to eat it out of my hand? <laughs> I actually have hand fed squirrels before. In college we had really friendly squirrels and I would just feed them almonds right out of my hand. But uh, no almonds today so this guy's out of luck. I count myself incredibly lucky to be able to travel and do these different trips. I feel like this is a very unique time in my life and I don't want to take it for granted. Of course I miss my home and my family and my cats and my husband but I don't take these moments for granted. And sometimes I just have to sit and soak in it and thank God. Thank God for what he's doing for Hayes a Good Life and thank God that we're getting that much closer to our healing homestead. And just thank God that I get to be in the South for a minute because I just love it so much. Okay, Scooters was a flop, but Memphis was not stretched my legs, got some delicious food, and now I'm ready to hit the road and see my friend in Nashville. I'm safe in Tennessee, and this is my friend Olivia, and she's taking me around the Loveless Cafe today. Yep, Loveless Cafe actually opened up as a house just on the side of this highway. A lady started making biscuits for passersby and uh, ended up started serving every type of food and it kept growing and growing until it was a restaurant. Awesome, I'm excited to check it out. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, all these little shops. So pretty. Outfitters? Ooh. Have little, like, apparel and stuff. Ooh, I think we might have to go check that out. Some clothing. I've been wanting a little charm necklace and look what I just found. It's the perfect length. I like it when it's longer, so that's nice. Really excited about this to have a sweet memory of this trip. And now it's time to eat.
Oh, now I'm shorter than you. <laughs> I like squat down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I kind of get the back roads tour now or the farm ish tour? Yeah, so we're taking Highway 100 and then we're going to be going to the 96 and we'll kind of see the large farmlands, head over to Leaper's Fork, maybe show y'all around. <laughs> Perfect. Fork Distillery. We're coming for your whiskey. Some whiskey! <laughs> oh my goodness. You catching all the mice today? Oh my Hey guys, some things have changed in my story here. Um, the last thing you guys saw wasn't quite the end of my time in Tennessee. I, I did get a chance to hit the streets of Nashville with my friend and see some amazing live music. What you didn't see was that we got food poisoning, like really, really bad, like really bad. We were both really sick for about 24 to 36 hours. Um, after about the 24 hour mark, I did have to hop on my plane to go home. And then my second flight got canceled. So I'm actually currently stuck in Dallas right now. And honestly, I'm not complaining. I really believe everything happens for a reason. I'm really excited to see Dallas for the day and then I am really excited to be home, but I'm gonna make the most of it. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I just wanted to kind of wrap up that part of the story for you guys. Join me in the next vlog where we explore Dallas together. All right, I'll see you guys there.